Hey, fire sign. Welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for April 15th, 2018. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what our Monday in love has for us. Your guys' first card out is the Seven of Swords. Your next card out is Justice. Your next card out is the Four of Cups. All right. Your guys' bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. Clarified with the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Next card out is the Eight of Cups. So very connected to eights. So that's three on the bottom of the deck. So your guys' shared energy is you're really trying hard to manifest. You're really trying hard to work to bring the, uh, the spiritual into the material. Working on yourself. Working on your, your finances. Working on your dream. You're just really working hard um, because you're you're tired of being in this place of feeling stuck. You want to get out of a situation where you feel tied and bound to to have the ability to walk away with that eight of cups. Um, so you're working very hard to change your situation so you can cut yourself away from a situation that you are no longer happy in. Taking the action and the steps needed to um, cut away from anything that is not serving you any longer in your guys' past energy you have the seven of swords so why is the seven of swords here for a fire signs judgment so um in the past there was somebody who there was some sneaking around with somebody. You you were waiting and hoping for a second chance with this person with judgment. Um, you are going to get a second opportunity with this person. Um, with the Seven of Swords, you felt like you were also cheated by this person. Um, felt really betrayed by them. Uh, your next card, your current energy is justice. So your karmic scales are balancing out. Um, you could be waiting on somebody to get a divorce so you can have that second chance. Um, but for a lot of you, you're just moving forward. You are um, no longer waiting for this person to get a divorce. You're no longer caring if this person gets divorced. You are moving forward and no longer allowing this situation to keep you in a pause, to keep you delayed any longer. In your guys' uh, energy that's coming towards you is the Four of Cups. So you are going to see what the universe has been trying to show you. The gift, the lesson in um, this situation. Uh, it is being clarified by the Six of Swords in reverse. So you're going to see for some of you that somebody isn't moving towards you like they said they were going to. You're going to see it for what it is. For some of you, you're refusing to move forward from a situation from your past, even though the universe is trying to show you a gift right in front of you. Spirit's advice for you is to walk in your truth, to um, allow yourself to see what is going on around you. Allow yourself or allow that fog that is um, confusing you to be lifted. Um, because when you do that, you're going to have a lot of blessings coming in for you. You're going to be able to manifest this situation um, into something that, that it hasn't been in the past, as well as um, being able to see the truth for what it is and bring in what's truly meant for you. Why is this star card here as the outcome? You are having, you are getting healing from a situation. You, there, if you follow spirit's advice and see the truth, allow yourself to be awoke from the situation. Allow the divine truth to come to you and allow these blessings to come forth into your life. You're going to find healing. You're going to find this balance from a situation that, uh, it could be a broken marriage. It could be um, somebody that you were waiting to leave a marriage and they never did. There's just a lot of hurt that needs to be healed around a situation that involves a marriage, whether it was yours or somebody else's. But this is also a card in your outcome of divine 
timing. So when you follow Spirit's advice and to see the truth and allow those new blessings to come in, divine timing is going to step in and bring you this situation, bring you new love, bring in somebody who is meant for you, bring you out of this time of feeling stuck, and it's going to allow you to materialize into this uh, life a relationship that is meant for you. Yeah, and it's going to bring in somebody who loves you unconditionally, somebody who wants to be with you, somebody who's going to treat you right. Um, and it may happen slow, but you do have an earth sign that is coming back for you with the Hierophant. It could be Taurus or Virgo, Capricorn, but this relationship is going to come back and give you the opportunity to resurrect this relationship if that's what you choose to do. Um, because this is a past life soulmate that you are walking away from. Um, they currently are, you know, um, nurturing a different relationship, which is causing a lot of confusion. They're not sure which direction to go in. You're not sure which direction to go in, but, um, this person could be very flighty, very in and out of your life. Um, and you are going to move away from that. You are going to see the truth in this matter. You are going to have new blessings manifesting for you. The truth is also going to wake up this person who is in this, uh, who is in this other relationship. And it is going to bring the distance between the two of you closer. Um, they are also being awoke and realize that you are their blessing fire sign. So let's see what the after tarot oops, has for, um, your guys' outcome. Yeah, you're going to be able to... There's some energy here that is being juggled around, but it's going to balance out. You're going to find balance Oops, within this situation, within this relationship. Um, there's that divine timing card again with the star. So many flipped right there. All right. One more for the outcome. My goodness. <laughs> All right. The three of swords healed. So this star card is going to bring you healing. This situation, the outcome of you opening uh, yourself up to hear the truth, as well as the person you're waiting on to return, they are being awoke as well. There's going to be healing from this. And it's going to heal that broken heart, bringing you balance once again. For some of you, you're having somebody completely new come in that's going to offer you this new love, that's going to offer you this unconditional love. For some of you, you're going to have this earth sign that is returning to offer you this second chance, to offer you a new beginning, and to ask you to give them that second chance. Um, yeah, to, a lot, to work to work on this again. Um, for a lot of you though, I do see you cutting yourself away from the situation and walking away. Um, currently right now you guys are in separation. A time for, apart from your partner is here. Um, but they are returning. I do see them returning within, uh, the next two to eight days, um, for a lot of you. So, um, that's really up to you whether or not I'm seeing it both ways. Some of you are going to cut yourself away and um, not go back to this earth sign. Some of you are going to move forward with this earth sign because the chariot is here as well. So as soon as um, you or the person you're dealing with goes through with this divorce, um, the two of you will move forward very quickly for a lot of you. So continue to heal. Um, continue to, or you or your person is going to wake up to this divine truth. Um, and divine timing is here with that star card. So big changes for you fire signs. If you're dealing with an earth sign, um, you're going to be hearing from them very soon, um, with updates of what has been going on right now. You're in separation. I don't even feel there's any communication. If there is some, it's very little, but, um, things are going to start moving in a different direction for you guys, for this group of you. So I hope you have a beautiful Monday guys, and I will see you next time. God bless.